In this video, we're going to find the volume and surface area of composite figures. So remember, composite figures are just figures um, where it's two different shapes kind of stuck together. And all we're going to do is find the volume of each and then add it together. So let's look at number one. Um, for To find the volume of our, of our prisms, we take the base area and multiply it by the height. And we have two prisms here. We have a rectangular prism and we have a, tri and a triangular prism. Now remember the base area is that shape that um, is shared on both the top and bottom of the figure. So when, whenever we have ramps or triangular prisms, our base area is always going to be the triangle shape. So for, my, for the volume, volume of my triangular prism, I'll take the base area of that triangle. That's going to be 12 times 2, divide that by 2 for the area of a triangle, then I multiply that by the height of my prism, which is going to be this side, because think of it as resting, so if we had a shape like this, we're going to rest it on the triangular side, and now that's the base area, and now this new length is the height, so times 5. We do our calculations and we get that the volume of the triangular prism is 60 feet cubed. Now to find the volume of the rectangular prism, volume of rectangular prism, we'll take the base area, that's 12 times 5, then we'll multiply it by the height of that box, which is times 5. And when we do this, we will get that the um, <coughs> volume of the rectangular prism is 12 times 5 times 5, and we get 300 feet cubed. So to find the total volume, I'll just add these two together. 60 plus 300 plus 60, and we get 360 feet cubed. So that's the main idea behind these, is you just find the volume of each shape, then add them together. So let's look at this one. Number two, oh, we have a box. Now we have a pyramid resting on, on top of a box. We already know that the volume of prisms is base area times height. Well, the volume of pyramids is equal to base area times height, but then we have to divide that by three. So let's see if we can't figure this out. I'll start with the pyramid first. Volume of my pyramid is equal to the base area. So the base area will be 5. And then what's this length going to be? Well, it's not labeled right there, so i got to look around. It's not labeled there, but those would be the same. Oh, it's down here, so it's this 4 right here. So we have 5 times 4. And then the height of the pyramid is 4. And then we'll divide that by 3. So we get 5 times 4 times 4, divide that by 3, and we get 26.7. So the volume is equal to 26.7 inches cubed. Next we'll want to find the volume of our prism, our rectangular prism, which we see is the base area, 10 times 4 times the height, which is 3. Multiply those together and we get 120 inches cubed. Now to finish this up, we'll add this together. 120 plus 26.7 gives me 146.7 inches cubed. Now, I'd like you to go ahead and pause the video right here so that you can try number 3 on your own. So pause the video, try number three on your own, and then we'll compare results. So hopefully you took a couple seconds to try this on your own. Well, first we want to do is find the volume of each individual box. So we know it's the base area times the height. The base area would be six times six. Then we'll multiply that again by the height, which is six. And that's when we'll get the 216 meters cubed. Then we'll want to find the, ba the volume of the second box. So it's going to be our 2 times 2 for our base area, times 2, which is the height, which will be 8. 
Now to finish this up, we'll just add the two together, 216 plus eight, and we're finished with that problem. Now to find the surface area of composite figures, we just have to find the surface area of each individual box. And then we will add, add all the different areas up. But keep in mind, when if, uh, if two boxes meet on one side, this side is not a part of the surface. It's now enclosed where they meet. So we're not going to even count that one. So first, let's look at our ramp. If I have my base shape that's along the bottom, right like that. So that's going to be 10 by 2. I have my two triangles coming off the side. And then I have the top of the ramp, which is 11 by 2. And the triangles have a height of 2 as well. Oh, that's a 3. So now we just have to find the area of each one of these shapes. We have 11 by 3, so this one's 33. Add 10 by 3, so this is 30. Then this is. 10 by 2, but we have to divide that by 2, and that's 10, so this will be 10. And those are all the areas that we'll use. Keep in mind, we're not counting this back rectangle right here because it's enclosed by this other box. So let's look at this box right here, the rectangular prism. We have this one, which is 6 by 3, which would be 18. Then we have the two side pieces, which are 6 by 2. So that's 12 for this one and 12 for this one. Then we have this back rectangle, which is 3 by 2. So that's a 6 for that one. Then we have the very top of our box, which is the same as the bottom. So we know that's 18. Now we have all the different areas that we can then add up. So I can say 33 plus 30 plus 10, plus 10, plus 12, plus 18, plus 12, plus 6, plus 18. And I add all these up together, all those numbers, and then I'll have my surface area. So we have 33, plus 30, plus 10, plus 10, plus 12, plus 18, plus 12, plus 6, plus 18, and we get 149. And that is feet, and since it's area, it's squared. And that's how we can find the surface area for composite figures.